Good morning, Grow Family. I'm Crystal Evans, the Garden Queen, and I want to talk about something important. I want to talk about the black and brown thumb. Yes, there are many people who say I have a black thumb or brown thumb because I can't grow. Well, I say gardening is rated E for everyone. There are three reasons why I truly believe your garden is not growing. And I'm gonna tell you all about it because I want you to be successful, grow family. I want you to grow all kinds of vegetables, all kinds of flowers, all kinds of herbs, and we're gonna do it together. Number one, you're probably not planting in the right place. My yard gets a lot of sun on that side during the day. On this side, we don't get as much sun. Every plant has a different requirement of sun. So if you're planting something like corn or watermelon or cucumbers, they require a lot of sun. And so you need it on a spot where it's gonna get probably eight or more hours of sunlight a day for it to really grow well. But things like lettuce and some peppers and a lot of the herbs don't require as much sun. As a matter of fact, you put it in a lot of sun, they're going to die. So we really have to look at your plants so right here, I have a primrose and it's set. It get, they give the directions. This is one of my sale plants. You know, I don't buy anything. Well, I try not to buy anything regular price, but uh, this was a half off. And it says, it tells you it, it needs full sun. So this one's going to need at least six hours of sun. It's going to need to be, it needs its soil to be moist. So I have to make sure that I'm watering it it gives you all the information. And a lot of times they give you a QR code that you can actually uh, scan and find out more information about it. So get your plants, research them, and then you can find out where to plant them and what's gonna be the best thing for them because having them in the right sunlight is going to be the best thing for them. Number two, you need to have the right soil. So I always mix my soil. I use topsoil and then I use a garden soil and then I'm going to add in some worm castings to it to make it nice and rich. I'm going to say this is very important especially if you're potting in uh, if you're growing in pots because if you're growing in pots it's not getting the nourishment of being in the ground where the worms actually are where they're getting that nourishment from um, and so when you mix your soils together, I've seen some soils, I've opened up bags and thought, this is a horrible, horrible soil. And I'm sorry to say that some soil is, soils are not the same. They're not made the same. So you really have to be careful on how you're mixing your soils, what are you putting with it, because soil can make a big difference because I've planted some things in some bad soil and that soil just stayed dry. It never moistened up. I would water, 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 and it was completely dry. So be careful about your soil. Number three, watering. You've got to know what your plants need. So when you're finding out about where they need to grow at, when you read about your plants, and what soil they need, but you also have to know about watering. Some plants need a lot of water and others don't. So I'm in Georgia, zone 8A in Powder Springs, Georgia, just north of Atlanta. And here, I literally in the deep, deep summer have to water my garden twice a day. So I have a timer and I water at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. when it gets to be 90 degrees. Before that, when it's still in the 80s, I water about once a day. So you have to figure out what's needed for your zone. So find out for your zone what you're gonna need. And if your plants are looking dry, just water them. Now I, I'm on a lot of blogs, I'm on a lot of uh, social media sites, and I hear people saying, what's wrong with my plant? I'm watering it three times a day and it's dying. Well, you're over watering. The lady was over watering and she didn't know. But that's another thing, when you research the plants, the, plant, the research is going to tell you how much water, the soil, how deep to plant it, and how much sun it needs. So, I know that you can do it, growers. So what I want you to do is go get some plants and find out all about them and start growing. I'm gonna tell you the top 
three easy plants to grow. For me, the top three easy plants to grow are lettuce, tomatoes, and peppers. They grow well. They don't require a lot. They don't require the most sunlight, but you'll get a nice good yield on them. And they're just easy to grow. They don't require a lot of maintenance. And so I would say if you're going to start off and you're new at growing, try lettuce, tomatoes, and peppers. All right, guys. In order for us to keep growing, we have to learn more about what we're doing. So keep following me, like and subscribe, and I will help you grow a wonderful garden this year.